All right, so um, we just got done talking with Aiden. Yes. Um, he's supposed to be battling Drake tomorrow. And now we are on to the next battle of the card. Yes. We have Double Darnell here in the flesh. Yes. Mr. No Shirt and Jeans <laughs> himself. <laughs> Um, battling Jay Hart, Jay, Jameer, however you want to go about it. How are you feeling today, man? I'm feeling great. I'm excited to be here. Thank you guys for inviting me. Oh, absolutely, man. You're, you're, you're phenomenal at what you do. Um, you're incredible, man. First, <laughs> minute, first um, time I saw your video and you popped that double and a half out of nowhere and still ended in a triple somehow, I was like, okay, yeah. We got him. <laughs> yeah, he's different. We got to invite this guy. I was like, he, he's insane at what he does. Um, so the first question that I have for you, um, how do you feel going into your battle against someone like Jay Hart? Um, you know, your battle's tomorrow. That's when it goes down. How, how are you feeling right now? You know, I feel really excited about it, and mm -hmm. I feel good. Um, the reason I love this battle so much, though, and, like, why I'm so excited is because, like, you can't tell who's going to win. Right. Like, exactly. our skill set <laughs> is so similar, and, like, we're in such, like, a close level with each other yeah. that, like, one of us is going to have to do something out of pocket in order to get, like, the edge of one another. So, Absolutely. Like, I don't know what he's going to do, and I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to do. Like, <laughs> I watched some of his videos, and I think I have something that mm. I got on my sleeve that can give me an edge. <laughs> got some tricks up your sleeve for yeah. tomorrow, then. Okay, absolutely. So, um, what would you say to somebody who says that they feel like Jay Hart is going to win tomorrow? What I say to them? Not saying that that's what I'm saying, <laughs> but let's just to say that I that I that I came up to you and I say, I think that Jay Hart's gonna beat you tomorrow. How, what like what do you have to say to that person? Wait till you see my first pass. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the energy. I love the energy. The main question is, are you gonna have on jeans? <laughs> of course, of course. Absolutely, he has to have one jeans. Yeah, I have to. It's in his jeans. I would be upset <laughs> if I lose to somebody in jeans. Oh my god! Hey, that's that's his superpower, man. That's hey, that's the jeans. Just people always ask me, like, why don't you wear shorts? Like, first of all, I don't own a pair of shorts, like <laughs> at all. Like, if you go through my Instagram, you'll see two videos of me wearing shorts. One was because I had to for Battle of the Arenas, and the second one was from like three years ago because my friend Jihad forced me to. <laughs> Wow. wow! Yeah, that's 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 Rest, all Adidas pants and jeans. <laughs> oh, so you 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 will compete in like Adidas pants tomorrow? Oh no, I'll be in jeans. <laughs> You're gonna be in jeans tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna be in jeans. Hey, all I brought. That's what I did. The shirt gonna come off, <laughs> and it's go. gonna be a wrap. <laughs> and it's gonna be a wrap. Um, so we did um some polls on Instagram mm -hmm. just to get an idea of what people thought. You know, gave predictions about the battle, and I remember you and Jay's being pretty close, like back and forth. He gets yeah. the edge, you get the edge. Do you feel like that's like a fair? I think so. Um, I think on paper, Jay does seem like he'll be able to beat me just mm -hmm. because he, like if you compare our videos like side by side by side, he does have an edge over me because he, like, he does more punchbacks than I do. So like, right. it seems like he's doing more, mm. but like I said, I got something <laughs> that might just catch everybody off surprise. Wow. Like, so what? But the, the only thing about doing a whole bunch of punch backs is sometimes they'll seem repetitive. Yep. And like you can do it once or twice, but then you do it the third and fourth time, the judges might be like, oh, okay, he did the punch back, he did the Arabian again to pick up speed, and it might throw him off. Right. So. And then another thing that I'm hoping I have going for me is endurance because mm -hmm. punch backs, I know that's his specialty, but. It still takes a lot of energy. To do yeah, it does. So. It does. Yeah, y'all don't have a lot of y'all don't have like ten minutes to go. Like if you go, and then he go, then you don't have ten minutes to go again. Mm -hmm. It's right. like you go, he go, you go, he go. So I mean, I mean, I mean, they, I mean, is definitely gonna play. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, like of course y'all will be able to breathe like in between, but it's just a matter of depend. It's not just one round. You know yeah. what I mean? So like, if someone punches back that many rounds, you know what I mean? That's not to say he can't do it, yeah. but, you know, they creates room, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But you seem, you seem pretty confident that yeah. so like, you, that you have something you that could, you could, you know. you think you could 3-0 him? Oh, no. Oh, no? <laughs> so my thought process is, like, if I go first, I know what I'm going to do. And if that first pass doesn't win, I have no clue what's going to happen. Mm. But based off that first pass that I do and if I win the first round, I'm pretty confident that I can go 2-0. I don't think I'll be able to go 3-0, though. 
Mm, but if gotcha. I win the first round, too, I was definitely. You think you could definitely? So you why, could definitely why, you know, why don't you say the best for like later? Because it's something that I don't do often. Oh, so you need all the. Yep. <laughs> he said, he's like, listen, I'm only throwing you it all in the gas. Too. Yep. He's like, it's <laughs> time. It's time. Absolutely. It's um, something that I haven't thrown in about three years. But I'm pretty confident that, that you can do it. Yep. Right. And I haven't posted the even before. Mm. <laughs> but did you. Have you something, trained? Something it? we've never. Have you, you been, been training up for this? It? I've trained parts of it. Okay. Yeah. But have you been training for this battle? Oh. I'm not gonna say I've been training for the battle because like I tumble almost All on a time. daily basis. On the regular, like I'm yeah. in the gym every day, so yeah. I'm training regardless for a battle for fun. Like it's just something I love to do. Um, I meant to ask. Um, I saw that you did Neo gatherings recently, right? Mm-hmm. And did you battle there? Yeah, too? it seemed like you battled. I did. So um, <laughs> one thing that we were talking about in um, our discussion about the battles was like um, being battle tested, right? Mm-hmm. So we we're like, you seem like you've been in kind of this type of environment before? Like, do you mm-hmm. feel like having battle before, it kind of gives you a little bit more experience going into this kind of like, do this not, do this in the first pass, do this later? Um, to be honest with you, not really, because everyone in, everyone like reacts to the battle scene differently. Like at right. AL, oh my God, it was amazing. <laughs> like, it wasn't even about competing against that person. It was just like the energy. And energy. like the people Absolutely. just like yelling for That you. was the chicken like, battle, right? Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So like this, that energy alone was just like, oh wow, I'm just doing it for fun. Let's let's go have some fun with this real quick. Yeah, <laughs> you do tricking? No. I'm oh, you not just a you did regular tumbling yep. versus so, the trick, right? Versus um, the trick style clash. Yeah, I did three passes technically. So my first pass there was standing double, and then I did round off whip Arabian whip double punch back round off two and a half step out through the triple there. I ended that, and then my last pass, I fell because I slipped, and it was full punch one and a half through the full whip trick. Did you win? Wow. Nope, I did not win. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's because I fell on my last pass. Because you pass. fell. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Shaquan's coming tomorrow. You know Shaquan? I do not. Um... He's um he's the one that yells at the end of all of his videos <laughs> when he he might do a, a tricking move and it'll be oh, in slow yeah, motion yeah. and he'll I be like yeah yeah, yeah yeah he was there yeah 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 he's gonna be there he's all. another no shirt guy too <laughs> <laughs> absolutely I um, feel like he's always like flexing yeah <laughs> if you if you had to say one strength that you feel like your opponent has and then one weakness that you feel like your opponent has what what would that be. Like tumbling wise, I would right. probably say punch backs is definitely his strength. At least going into this battle, his weakness. Like I said, I've been studying his Instagram. Like I've been looking at all his videos that he's been posting, and I barely see any double flips in there. I, Got you. I don't think I've seen any double flips in there. So Got you. I think mm. that's his weakness. Got you. I understand, man. I understand. This yeah. <laughs> is. Yo, I'm ready for this I matchup. Seen him do a um, I've seen him. I've seen him do a. It's, it's not something he does often. So I've seen him do it before, but it's definitely not something he does. What you see him do? Option. Double back. Oh, okay. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not something that, he, that I've seen him do often. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any predictions for the other battles that are on the card? Um, we have Bug Boy versus Ty G, Tumbling D versus Love Love, Drake versus Aiden. Um, to be fair, I can only give my input on the Love Love and D one because I okay. don't know. I know Bug D. Oh, Bug Boy. <laughs> and <laughs> then cool. I know Aiden, but, like, I don't know any of their opponents like that. So Got I you. can't really give any opinion mm-hmm. on it. But I don't know. Love Love and D, that's, that's going to be something. Because, <laughs> like, I know what Love Love can do and I know what D can do. And, like, I kind of have an idea what Love Love's going to do, but I have no clue what D is going to do. What D's going to do, absolutely. Like, I, I just I want to see what he does so bad. Yeah. And I can't make a prediction of who's going to win it either. It's going to so gonna be really close or somebody's going to get blown out of the water all right wow <laughs> absolutely man well look we greatly appreciate you from um for being a part of this event and tapping in with us early and seeing the vision early on yes. and um like like i said before when we started you wouldn't be here if you weren't one of the craziest <laughs> ones out here, out here man because you, you're definitely amazing man um do you have any last words to say to either jay hart or anything uh, about your battle for you oh okay okay go ahead okay mm-hmm. what would you like to see the T3 platform go in the future. Like how, like, uh, how am I word of saying this? Like, of course, we, we're starting off with this 
this is our first battle. Mm -hmm. But where would you, how big would you like to see it? Like overseas, uh, traveling overseas, traveling from location to location. So the way I, like I've actually thought about this too, like the way I see like T3 going and the way I would like to see it go is like you guys go to like different places. And, like, right, for sure. Different type of tournaments at those places for like cash prizes or something. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, because that's kind of like what adrenaline does. Yeah. And like they have their own type of sponsored athletes yeah. that go to these events and like help host the events. And then I feel like on top of that, you guys can even do like gatherings like right. Neo does Absolutely. at all these events. So like you guys can go go have these tournaments and then after the tournament, come join all up, come join all our athletes, right. our athletes to perform. And we can all just like something. chill and just be at an open gym together. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That'll be dope. Yeah, that'll be dope. So that's yeah, that'll be fire. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> Def definitely something that we're trying to do. You know, the more that we do, like we're we're just trying to create a world that's where tumblers get the recognition that they deserve. You know, the same way that professional athletes can make a name for themselves yeah. or make a living off of mm -hmm. what they do in all these other sports, we want that to exist for the tumbling world yes. too. I you know, appreciate what you guys are doing. Absolutely, yeah, thank you, man. No, we th we appreciate you for what <laughs> you're doing too, man. You know, it takes a special type of human being to go into. To, to, to try the stuff that you guys try and, and do the sport that we all love. You know what I mean? So um, um, one last time, if, is there anything, um, any last words that you want to leave off with for Jay Hart or to anybody that might be watching tomorrow? Well, good luck to Jay. Mm -hmm. I feel like our battle is going to be super fun. Let's just have fun with it. To all the people watching, I hope you enjoy it. I just want to make it an entertaining thing. All right. So. Absolutely, man. We greatly appreciate you for being here. Man. Thank hey. you. We'll see you tomorrow, man. <laughs> Yeah. Make it happen, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you.